Today we're getting a ride on another of Air Greenland's AS350 helicopters, and this time it's for a very different kind of trip. This is part six in our Greenland series, recorded in September last year. Make sure you don't miss all the other installments, which I'll link to in the description. We have to fly over the water, so um, just in case of an emergency, uh, these uh, floats, they are able to pop up. And they will pop up to this height, so the helicopter will be able to land on the water, but you won't be able to open the door. So you have to release the door from this end, it's a, it's a guard, and then pull the handle and throw the doors out. QNH1006, so, so temperature one time, one so. Admedius. We're headed down to a couple of mining sites south of Nuuk, flying down Greenland's west coast. While there isn't a huge amount of mining currently in Greenland, helicopters are key to their operation, both shuttling people in and out of these remote spots, and in some cases carrying heavy loads from one spot to another. That's known as slinging, and we'll get a look at that today as well. We take off from Nuuk and make a left turn to fly south. get a good sense of the scale of the construction at the new Nuke Airport here. Naturally, the views just keep getting more epic. If you were after fjords, glaciers, and rocky peaks for miles, we've got you covered for the next few minutes.
After about 45 minutes flying, we arrive at our first site, which is not yet a functioning mine. Rather, it's a prospecting operation. They say there are significant deposits of a special rock called a northosite here. Along for the ride today is also Air Greenland CEO, Jakob Nitter. That's him in the red jacket. They've got a base camp set up down here and a drill site further up the valley. We hop up there to check it out. I think we should give him the quiz, the long one. Yes, I will give it the long one. Yeah, but he gets a little bit of time last year. Workers here drill the rock, and then helicopters shuttle it back down the valley in big bags for analysis.
After that, it's time to head just across the way to a much more established mine. Here, they're mining rubies. We take a quick look around, have some lunch, and then head back to Nuke.
by uh, governor. So the engine uh, produces more power to, to keep the rotor speeds uh, stable. Okay. So if you're lowering this one, we're going down, and if you're lifting it up, you, we are going up. A really important uh, thing on the helicopter. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, and stay tuned for the next and final installment covering the trip from Nuke back to Copenhagen. In Nuke for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.